All right, we're out at uh, the new house. We're getting ready to flip in lieu of lay. We're going to go through and uh, show you some of the things that we're going to do to the house. Uh, we've got a little bit of start on it. You can see over this side, we did paint scheme to try to figure out what color we want to do the outside of the house in paint. So we're going to gotta go through the inside, take a look real quick, and uh, see what, uh, what we see in there that needs to be done. Okay, we're going to just go inside. Uh, this used to be the garage. It has been enclosed. Uh, it was permitted. A um, little bit of work to do. We have an air conditioner hole over there to fill. And uh, some flooring issues to fix here and there. Replacing these cabinets. It's like a little downstairs. This probably used to be divided up into two units. It has six bedrooms, three downstairs, three upstairs. They were trying to renovate it when we bought it. Uh, and of course lost it to the uh, courts and we bought it as a uh, or lost it to a short sale and we bought it as a short sale um, got quite a bit of work to do in the bathrooms the ceiling had fallen and so it's got to get a new ceiling all fixed up all new um, vanities and um, you can see why we want to replace the uh, parts there Got to do a lot of window cleaning, quite a bit of touch-up paint. It's just been painted inside, um, but we're going to have to go through and do some touch-up paint. Entry tile is kind of old and dated. The door is nice, it's just in rough shape. It could be cleaned up. The steps are done in hardwood. Probably could be re-sanded and refinished. And then there's no flooring upstairs at all, uh, as you can see. Give you an idea of the view. It's got some ocean view and some mountain views. Got a huge um, living area, and then these are the kitchen cabinets that are coming out. They're all faded and scratched. And worn. And stained and greasy. So we're going to go through and tear them all out. And then we'll, same thing in here, we'll touch up paint. We'll put in all new doors. There's not a door in the house. Um, let me correct that. There's a bathroom door, I think, right there. This is the only door. Have another sink and vanity to tear out, replace the toilets. We're going to have to go through and put in all new doors, closet doors, because uh, you can see that the tracks are all tore out. So we came out today, uh, my son and I, uh, William, and we go through and kind of see what needs to be done, what needs to be fixed up. You can hear the smoke detectors are uh, beeping. Um, but we'll go through room by room and work our way back out to the front. And then down the stairs and then start at the back, work our way from the back downstairs all the way to the front again, cleaning everything out, uh, straightening everything. The guys will be coming in to demo, uh, take out the cabinets that will be coming in to scrape along the floors, vacuum the floors up, touch up all the paint on the walls. Uh, it's a very unique house. We bought it very well uh, in the short sale. We saved the people about $100,000 to $150,000. Um, of having a judgment lien, exactly what we teach you is to how to stop that judgment lien to help someone else. And we stop the judgment lien for them. And so uh, we just come in, this is our first day, and we come in and work. Um, William power washed. William, tell us a little bit about how was the power washing. Deafening. He's uh, having a little trouble hearing out of one of his ears and uh, got stuff in his eyes, and he's got power washing scum um, all over his body. But uh, if you want to flip houses and make money, so what we do, yes or no? Yep. Absolutely, all right. Let's go on around. Upstairs bathroom, as you can see, is just horrible. And we'll go through and we'll have that tub totally renovated. So we're gonna take quite a few pictures so we'll have some before and after pictures too of all the items and all the areas and try to take the same pictures later. So we'll take a look at it now and take a look at it in two weeks and see the difference of what it will be. And we should go somewhere from $325,000 up to about four hundred and eighty to five hundred and twenty thousand dollars and uh, so we hope that you guys will uh, get to see what we can do in a few weeks with some boys getting in there and getting some work done all right oh,
I really like the way when you paint, your legs move. I like to paint my legs sometimes. Uh, you're painting sideways. You're supposed to be painting up and down. When you're flipping houses, you got to learn uh, who to hire paint, hire paint to paint, and who not to hire to paint. And I'm, I'm thinking of a crew right now that's not a really good painting crew. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm thinking about a painting crew that's not that great. Let me think. Let me think. Who is it? Evan. Evan? Evan? Um, Blake just said that you're not a good painting crew. Who do you know that's not a good painting crew? Blake? Yeah, no, he did not paint. He did not paint so um, Do you normally paint with a gun in your hand? Yes. Does that make it a uh, better painting? Yeah. All right, great. This is the actual real painter. This is uh, William. Some of you have seen him on different videos. He's 13 and has every plan to take over the business, correct? Yep. He's planning to be in charge, and so he's uh, painting. At 13, he amazes me at his abilities. If you guys are not teaching your children to do this, you're robbing your children of a future of the things that they can do. William would like to be flipping his own houses by the time he's 16 and pay cash for a car. Is that right? Yep. Um, can I ask you a question, sir? What? Can I ask you a question? What? You have um, pain on your face, you have pain on your neck, you have pain on your arm. I don't, I don't. Um, do you have any paint on the wall? Is there any paint on the wall yet? Mm. This is Dylan. Yeah. How's it going, Dill? Good. Dill is uh, my 12-year-old son, and he's uh, painting the, the living room. Um, we just come in on a Saturday. We work for about four hours, and uh, everybody does a little bit of work, and all pitches in. How do you like it, Dill? Good. Would you rather be playing video games? Yes, I would. Does it pay as well? No, it does not. All right, good. <laughs> Got the new kitchen in from yesterday, so you guys uh, can see some of the new kitchen cabinets. Got a little work left to do, and then we'll be cleaning this up. Believe it or not, tomorrow, all this carpet and pad will be laid in these rooms doing final touch-up. And... Uh, the four-year-old and the five-year-old are the main touch-up guys. Um, sir, sir, you're still you're still painting the same area you were painting earlier. Do you realize that? It only needs one coat. I'm going to paint it all. Um, we're going over all the tile floor. I'll show you them now. We're going to go over all the tile floors with a really thick linoleum. Then we'll come back and uh, totally refinish the tub and showers. I'll paint them. Good thing about painting and stuff like this now is you don't have to worry about the floors. There's no carpet. There's nothing there. We have yard guys um, redoing the uh, outside yard. So they're going out and cutting everything in the back. You can see we got a little re roofing to do right there on the back end. But they're uh, tearing it all out, cut out all the dead trees and making the yard look very nice in the back, getting rid of all the junk. That's kind of it for uh, this day. We'll keep you posted on. Okay, uh, can you tell me what you're doing there? I'm sorry, you what? I'm doing it like a rainbow. Like a rainbow. Say, Look at me and say that. I'm doing it like a rainbow. So this is a new style and form of painting. It's called the rainbow style. We don't use the roller in the correct direction. We just use it sideways. Okay. Now, do you see all these things on the side of the wall? You got to get rid of all those. So when you Now you got to go like this. Watch me. And watch, watch, work your way down everywhere and get rid of the rainbows. You might be a little young to paint, you think? Yeah. You just painted my belly. Stop that. Um, sir, can, can I have the soda back? No, right here. So this is my uh, four and five year old flipping houses. Oh, flipping houses is awesome. All right, today we're in the uh, carpet phase. We've got the carpet pad going down. We've got the countertops in, getting ready to set the sinks. We've got the linoleum in. You can see it in the kitchen. And then we got an oleum going in in the bathrooms that you saw earlier that looked so bad. Starting to look good. We haven't got the tubs renovated yet, but that'll be coming. There's one of the bedrooms. It's like night and day from what you had before. Flooring in the bathroom. Just got to renovate the tub and the shower now. So it's coming along really good. We're still working on the whole downstairs. There's still three bedrooms downstairs. Um, but all this carpet will be laid and hopefully show you um, more of what it looks like after the fact. But it is really coming together. Nothing wrong with that view. You got ocean and uh, mountains. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful place. We're driving out to Miley uh, to 
to see a house we're flipping out in Miley and uh, it's on the west side of Oahu and we'll show you all the videos of the change, the before and after pictures and give you as much information as we can to let you know what this flip is doing. So we'll be there in just a couple of minutes. Okay, we're coming up on the street. It's called Luale out here in uh, Miley, uh, Nanakuli Miley side. And as you can see, when we turned into the street, it really has a lot of overgrowth on the right-hand side here. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to bring weed eaters down here and cut all this back um, all the way down the street. Now, it takes me a little bit to do it, but if I get this cut back all the way down the street, then the entrance to the street will look better, these homes will look better, and just cut everything up to the fence. Now, it's not my property. It's the city's property. But if it's done once during the, the whole time we're here, um, this all be weed eated here too, all the way along this both sides of the street. Then it'll look really good when they come to have the open house. So, this is the property. This is the house in uh, Miley. And uh, if you come out and look right down the end of the street, you can see Blue Ocean. And of course, from the second floor, you can see it pretty, really well. But, um, like I said, we're going to weed eat all of that. And uh, if you can see the difference of what this house is now to the before pictures, we'll throw a few of them in here. It's uh, qu quite a difference. So, um, this is John. Runs one of our crews uh, when we flip a house. And so you guys will get to know John Castro over a period of time. Um, pretty much we have, what, eight weeks in this house on and off? Yep. About eight weeks of time, and you're going to see the transformation of time and about what eight weeks can do. And by the way, if you're seeing this video and you're coming to Hawaii and looking for something to invest, John's a guy to look at, to talk to. If you can call the office, we can get you to John to find a property and find a house. Okay, so this is the uh, back side of the house. It's got overhang. There used to be a shed right here you can see on the floor, Did but we took it out and made it open. Make it open up. This is Tiffany telling us how bad we're doing at the backyard in her dress, yanking down trees and cleaning it. That would be the yard man, I think, that came that didn't do his job. Yeah, but I'm taking pictures. I need to sell this house. <laughs> she wants to be the person that is on TV yelling and screaming, this ought to be done! This What's happening to the gravel? I'm supposed to tell you guys this. <laughs> she also said that this here should be taken down. All this stuff should be cut off because it looks bad. I don't know. I'm thinking that that thing there looks a little bad. What? This leaning. That's what I, the poles need to they be. They were supposed to put them in the uh, dumpster and they didn't. Left side of the house, all finished and painted new. So let me kind of tell you what we did. We totally painted the whole house inside and out. We cleaned out the backyard, which was literally, I got pictures of it, four feet high. I'll show you pictures. We took this little shed area out right here and clean it all up and then uh, you think we should replace that sink just no, put a new one in I know but the sink is ugly or maybe you should take it out one of the two the nastiness behind the sink needs to be cleaned up clean that up I just didn't want to get a new sink until it was finished this house is huge for a house out here six bedroom houses it actually could be divided up into two units it does have a downstairs kitchenette with a stove connection um, so there's a lot of possibility for this property. Lots. <clears throat> also has a wire and washer and dryer connection outside and inside. So it can be done. Oh, the steps came out nice. You like them, don't you? Yeah. That's right, because I can design steps. All right, so we changed the entrance a little bit, put up some new light fixtures. John found there was a doorbell behind this ugly piece of metal that we found that actually works. Clean the tile up. Didn't do the grout yet, huh? Put new flooring down there. Restained all the stairs. Yeah. Put in a new carpet. These are the views. This is out the front slider. You can see it right there, that's ocean. Okay, so we're on the upstairs floor and I showed you the kitchen and what we've done. So this house, we bought it fairly low. Um, we're looking to clear somewhere around $100,000 after everything is done is our goal. Um, I think we promised 70, so if we do 100, we'll be doing really, really well. In Hawaii, you look for houses like this, and let me tell you why. 
you, this has a kitchen upstairs. We're gonna go downstairs here in just a second. You follow me and we'll show, there's a kitchen downstairs. I've just showed you some of the bathrooms and things. Here's the great thing about Hawaii. If you can get a house that has six bedrooms, um, because of the price of houses here, multiple families live together. Grandpa, then mom and dad, and then the older kids that actually have kids. So in this case, you got six rooms. Sometimes we'll put two or three people to a room of kids, and uh, a family of 12 could live in this house, or maybe 14 could live in this house. So they put their incomes together, and they can afford the housing markets that's here, and that, that's about the only way they can afford it. So um, This was here original. We just sanded it down and put it back. You can see we put all new uh, fixtures. Uh, Chris and I, who's actually doing the video, came in and put a, a fan in. We ran a cord up from the lights and run the fan off of that. Um, coming to the kitchen, we did put a new fixture in the kitchen. Now, if you look at the original pictures, this was the countertops that we put in last year to try to sell the house to help the people. All we did was take the countertops off because they're in great shape, brand new, put in the new cabinets to match the countertops and put them back. Uh, saved about $2,200. All right, let's go down here. We'll show you the second kitchen. Uh, this is a split level house, which is really uncommon in Hawaii. I know on the mainland you guys have a lot of split level houses, but we don't have a lot of split level houses. This would be what's considered the second kitchen. And uh, it's got a place for a fridge. And then if you look down here, it's actually got a place for a stove. Um, it's not a legal addition, but it is a way to come do this. Come zoom in. This is a guest. In Hawaii, we have geckos everywhere. You want them because they eat bugs. Well, this used to be the garage, um, and we came in and uh, just rehung the fans and the stuff that was already here. We didn't really change much. We just textured up the walls, painted, and we did put these windows in. I'll show you before and after pictures. We textured, retextured the outside, and put that in there. Let's walk through, and uh, we're still going to make this piece of trim in. Yes. So this, we're going to put like a wood piece of trim here to take the transition from garage to house. So if they do divide up the house, this downstairs is also a three bedroom house of about 2,000, 1,500, 1,500 square feet. Same thing, you can see the bathroom, just zoom in there and spin through. This is the third bathroom, so there's two upstairs bathrooms, a master and a hallway, and then this hallway back downstairs. This is a very strange design too in Hawaii, is that they put the sinks out here like this. Not a real cheap thing to do, but if you come into these doors, so we always come in and put these, they're about $110. But we put them in. Of course, this has six bedrooms, so in this place, it's at 660 bucks plus tax. But uh, when it's done, it's just absolutely amazing. So we had to have an agreement that we would not sell for 90 days, which is fine because we're going to renovate. That scares off a lot, a lot of investors because they don't want that holding cost. But because we're going to renovate, that kind of fix that. The new kitchen. Very nice. Came out real good, huh, Mom? Okay. We have a beautiful space here. Almond. So this is not right. Some <laughs> One of these things. Wait, and this too, look. <laughs> Wait, look here. White. So, I, I'm just saying. Wrong, wrong, wrong. First this is wrong. That we see. And then. Okay, so fix that. This is the boys. This is Anthony. You guys are going to see him on the road and all over St. Louis. Jonathan, of course, is going to be our new lead realtor. And, Tear up Hawaii. Chris is a bum. <laughs> <laughs> you all know Chris. Chris is like my assistant and does what I do. We came in and changed all the uh, all the vanities and the flooring. So it'll look quite different than what I show you shortly. Very nice. Came out nice, didn't it? Yeah. Good. At least we're not expect inspecting it the day before open house. Yeah. I'm sorry, that's a different TV show. Our bad. Like bedroom three or six, six bedrooms, yeah. Yeah, anything that's sticking out or laying out, he'll put in and be finished today. And Same thing. When you see these bathrooms, you're not even going to believe the difference of what was here before. So it's pretty amazing. You can see we changed the outside by painting it, changing the gates, getting all the weeds away cleaning up the front as you enter the way it looks, fixing the steps, repairing them, and cleaning out the old concrete and making it look like it was brand new, uh, fixing all the sprawling, put on a special kind of exterior paint that's for garages, changed the windows in the front and the front door, and uh, repainted all the trim, got rid of all the old wood, um, fixed all the railings and painted all the railings, traded out the old cabinets for the new cabinets, 
and uh, totally transformed the bathrooms the way they look with the old vanities, old tubs, new spray tub, new toilets and tops. Got rid of the back porch trash, made it all look cleaned up and good. Um, changed out the rooms, put in new carpet, painted all the walls, um, traded the rooms around, made them all uh, get just a whole different look. Made the kitchens uh, better cabinets as a secondary kitchen downstairs and of course completely cleaned up the backyard. Hope you enjoyed the video and I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing our flip. Flipping houses Hawaii style. Come on back anytime and uh, if you want to join us on our website you can go to thedealfunders.com or thedealfundersblog.com also, you can see us on youtube.com forward slash the deal funders. Love to have you come out. Love to have you be a finder. Find us a house like this and let's flip it and make some money. Thank you very much. Have a great day.